I'm Joe, I'm a master electrician. Today I'm gonna to install a new circuit for a bidet. I am not doing GFCI protection on this. It's my house, I can do what I want. So let's run through the parts that I'm gonna use. Uh, first off, you've gotta have wire. I'm using 12.2, it's good for 20 amps. The bidet that we're installing pulls about 12-ish amps. A cut-in box, a receptacle, a cover plate, these two buttons, a tandem breaker. Yeah, that's it. That's it for parts. All right, so tools that I'm using for this job. Drill with a 7-8 spade bit. That's what I'm gonna use to drill from the attic down into the wall. Fish rods, my impact, all of the bits that I need right here. Utility knife, dikes, my screwdrivers. Sound good? All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just preparing this wire to be tied onto. I've got a cable wire in that conduit that goes up to the attic. That's something that's not normal in most people's houses is this conduit going from the basement all the way to the attic. A lot of times we will have to drill, drill a hole in the basement and then we would also go up to the attic, drill a hole from the top down and then we would fish a wire from the attic to here. It takes a lot more time, but this conduit is very uncommon. So notice I cut those angles on that wire. That'll help not catch on anything when I tape this up. It'll give it a nice even place to go. <laughs> so I loop it around that cable wire, clamp it down, clamp this down. Notice how I added some extra tape there. We don't want this blunt end to catch on anything as it goes up there. So that's why I gave it that nice little angle so it can just be pulled up easily. And then as I go, I will unspool this wire and that makes it lay flat in the attic, it makes it lay flat on the walls, makes it easier to staple and it's not something where it's curly cute across the attic and something I'm gonna trip over later. Okay, so I'm getting ready to cut this outlet in. Yes, I have the instructions out, sorry guys. Maybe your wife won't watch this. But we need to know exactly where this outlet needs to go. It says eight and a quarter to the center of the outlet, off the center of the toilet, and then five to seven inches to the center of the box. So I'll go 27 and a quarter, and that's where I'll possibly put my outlet. We'll talk about that. So the cool part about that vent is I will know exactly where I need to drill this hole. So now all I gotta do is once I bring that wire over, I'll drill a hole right beside there and I'll be right in the cavity I need to be. This two by four tells me exactly where the wall is. I don't wanna go where this drywall is on either side. So I'm just gonna go right there. All right, so this is the wire that I tied on to that conduit in the basement. So I pulled up quite a bit while I was over there, and now I'll be able to just tie onto this fishing pole and send it down the wall. And here's a little tip for you. If you're ever fishing a wire and you like the person you're working with, leave a tail. That way you can just unwrap it once he gets it down there. I don't like boat. So I'm gonna tear that off. I'm just kidding, I love boat. But I like to see him struggle too. So now if I can hit the hole, the four kids, got a lot of practice. I can tell he has a hold of it now. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, are you good? Okay, you'll have to pull some back. I mentioned before, we don't want to trip on anything. So, and then I'll go over to where that conduit is and staple it up. And that's a wrap in the attic. Let's get out of here. Okay, so let's put this box in here. These wings right here will push in past the drywall, the back side of the drywall. These ears catch the front side, so it sandwiches together. And that's how this box stays tight. So now I can just tighten that up and that holds that box in nice and tight. You always want to make up the load side first. This is the, the side that is not where the power is fed from. And then I'll go down there once this is all done and I'll make up the panel where the breaker is. That's the line side. So then I can just turn that on because I've already, I've, I already know that this is done. 
you're supposed to have at least a quarter of an inch of insulation in there. These wires need to be at least six inches from the back of the box. I like about six inches from the front of the box. About six inches, yeah. So now I'm just stripping off about an inch of insulation. That allows me to just put my strippers in there and make a nice little loop. You always want the wires to be looped around a receptacle as the screw tightens. So as you'll notice, I'm tightening the screw. That's the same direction the loop is going. So now I'm just gonna fold these wires in there nice and neat. Do I just loop it and go? Look at I'm going lazy here and just looping it. I'll leave enough little of a loop here where I will just feed this straight through and in so that way I don't have to junction this wire. It's okay that some of that insulation is coming off there. It's not cutting into the wire or anything. Fucking Karens. So now I can just put this on the wire just like that and that will stay. All right, so I want this to look nice as it's coming across here. So I've bent this flat. Maybe. Stop it about where this looks good. Yeah, that looks nice. It just looks nice. Okay, so now I'm done up here with the junction box. I can just slap a cover on that. Don't have one. It's okay, it's my house. And then now I just need to work this in, get my breaker installed. So I'll show you that part next. So I'm adding a tandem in here because I'm out of room. What that means is it's two breakers in one slot. I didn't label the panel because I've never put this panel cover on because it's my house. I need to showcase this. This part, and I can pop this one in place. <coughs> These tandems take a small flat head. You still want to get that torque in there. So I like to make sure it's nice and tight nice and tight so now that one just be turned back on the office is where I coupled those together as much off I didn't make a tag for that so I'm going to now all right she done now that outlet should have power let's go check it good to go Typically I would put this cover on, but because I had this little mishap here where I have to put some spackling and then paint this, I'm just gonna leave it off and put it on once that's all done. Also have this hold a patch. This part's done, next part will be the plumber. Once that's done, I'll fix all the drywall and paint. All right, that's a wrap. Remember, be an electrician, leave your mess.